Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to feature a graphics test. This video is a reaction to the recent official forum posts over the past 24 hours asking the question whether or not setting the render scaling in PC mode settings to 200 improves the VR performance. I've done some tests with both the Reverb G2 and the Quest 2. I'll go through my settings first, then I'll show you the test results. I'm using the latest driver 466.63. I have game mode switched off. I have hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned off. This is a much debated setting, but I find the performance much better turned off. Here you can see my 3D settings for my NVIDIA control panel. For the Reverb G2, I have the OpenXR developer tool set to 70% custom render scale with motion reprojection always on. This is the way I always have it set up now. For my Quest 2, I have 120 Hz set and the render resolution set at 1.4 times, which is 4480 by 2256. I'm using Airlink. And here are my in game settings. These are my PC settings. So, what people have been saying is that they change the render scaling to 200 in the PC mode, as you can see here. And then we go straight into the VR mode and use it as normal. For each test, these settings are the same for both headsets. I've also included the rest of my PC mode settings just for your information. And here are my in game VR settings. I've made one change to the settings since the last video, and that's making the render scaling to 100. The reason why I've done this is because people in the forums have done the same, so I wanted to just make sure I was in line with everybody else during these tests. So now I've shown you the settings, let's start with the tests. Starting out with the Reverb G2. On the left hand side you can see the PC settings have been set to a render scale of 100, which is how I normally have it. On the right hand side the PC settings render scale has been set to 200, according to the forum posts. Now I've noticed some people are finding much better performance using this setting, in terms of clarity inside the cockpit and out, as well as smoothness. You can see that both eyes are not in sync, this is because I took two different flights to record this footage. I find with the G2 there isn't much difference with the two settings, and you can see here they look very similar. Please remember this is not a direct representation of what we see in the VR headset itself, so this is the second best way of showing you the results apart from actually being in the headset yourself. And here we have the Quest 2. My immediate reaction is that it's much smoother. You can see on the right screen it looks really smooth. I've got the same settings for both tests and it just feels a lot smoother with that 200 render scale set in the PC mode. It may be a placebo effect, but honestly, I really do feel a difference here in terms of smoothness. The clarity is pretty much the same. It looks the same inside and out of the cockpit. I do feel that the render scale at 200 does give more smoothness. You can see how I move around within the cockpit and the plane itself, and you can see how smooth that is on the right hand side there. Having said that, the left hand side is not bad at all, and I'm getting great performance from this headset. I'm really impressed with this headset over the past few weeks. It's been improved so much. I've chosen to fly over New York City for the second test using the King Air 350i. It's a bigger plane than the Cessna 172. I just wanted to have some variety in my testing. And New York City is always a great place to test. You can see for the Reverb G2, I'm getting similar results again for both settings. I don't see any considerable difference using the render scale at 200 for the G2. Again though, I'm getting great performance using both settings anyway, so I'm really pleased with this. But it should give you an idea of what differences you can see in this aircraft using these settings. And the final test, the Quest 2 headset in New York City. Again, I noticed the smoothness on the right hand side with the render scale set at 200. I can really see the difference in smoothness again. The performance of this headset has improved drastically. When I look outside of the aircraft, I can see no stuttering and everything is so smooth. I would say the quality of the visuals is similar to having this render scale set at 100. But again, the smoothness for the Quest 2 is definitely an improvement. Once again, I'm really impressed with the Quest 2 performance. I'm not sure if it's based on these settings or not, so I'm going to keep messing around with it. But so far, so good. The 
And now for the verdict. Based on my tests, changing the render scaling in PC mode settings to 200 has no real impact on the G2 performance. I noticed a significant performance increase using the Quest 2 in terms of smoothness as I explained to you during the video. I don't see much in terms of clarity, but there may be some improvements in there too for the Quest 2. Remember guys, these are only my tests on my system with my specific setup. So everyone's going to have different results. I've seen lots of people talking about great improvements for their own systems. It could be related to the graphics card and the CPU people are using. To be honest, I'm really happy with the way my system is running VR at the moment anyway. So it's no big deal for me, but I wanted to try and chip in and help other people by doing these tests to see if really there is an improvement, if it's a bug that they've got going on. So I look forward to hearing your thoughts and hopefully Sobo will clarify whether there is a link or not between the VR and the PC settings. It was a really interesting test to do today and I'm glad I did it. I'll keep tinkering with my settings as always. I really hope this helps you guys visualize these differences and see it on my system for what it is. As always guys, please like and subscribe if you find this content useful and interesting. I look forward to making some new videos looking at plane reviews, add-ons and more performance tests. In the meantime guys, as always, please take care and stay safe.